Lavolo, Ms. Watney, the, uh, the uh, Deputy Representative for UNICEF in Fiji and the Pacific, um, senior officials of the Ministry of Health, uh, and also members of the media that are here. <coughs> As you are aware, UNICEF uh, has come through in supporting our WASH cluster. And uh, this is not unique in the sense that they've also been supporting our WASH cluster from before. And we've been doing uh, work with UNICEF uh, in terms of WASH, which includes the water aspects and also sanitation. In this regard, today's event is the, the, um, the handing over of 41 uh, 5,000 litre water tanks uh, with a total cost of about 38,000 Fijian dollars um, to rehabilitate our, um, our facilities <coughs> that have been affected by Tropical Cyclone Herald, normally in the Western and also in the Eastern Division. These places are places where uh, often there are challenges with drinking water and it is important that the Ministry of Health facility in these places have access and enough drinking water and uh, from uh, this perspective, we're looking at rainwater harvesting and harvesting it into these water tanks so they can be made available to our staff for the treatment of patients, but also, uh, if needed, uh, for those in the community that may need water. Uh, I understand that about 21 of these tanks are going towards the Kandabu subdivision and 18 tanks that are heading to Lakemba and uh, two tanks that are going to Sierra and Amosi predominantly for Mbenga uh, in Ravi Ravi nursing station. Uh, we are grateful for this support uh, and also for the opportunity to make sure that uh, in this COVID-19 environment and the need to ensure that we have uh, personal and hand hygiene, that we in the Ministry of Health and our facilities are at the forefront in being able to preach and teach about uh, uh, hand hygiene and uh, also in terms of sanitation and uh, clean water with the use of these water tanks. So once again, I'd like to thank UNICEF for the support that we've been given today. And uh, I can assure us all it will be good, put to good use in these stations that it's been uh, assigned to be given to. I'd also like to congratulate the two subdivisional medical officers that are here uh, from uh, Lao subdivision and also Kandavu. Their subdivisions uh, took uh, a beating from uh, Tropical Cyclone Herald, but because of the hard work that they and their staff have done uh, to ensure that we protect the lives of all Fijians in these areas. Bulai, Bulai everyone. Honorable Minister for Health and Medical Services, Dr. Inferimi Wanka Nabete. Acting Head of Fiji Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Services, Chair Jeremiah Mataika and Subdivisional Medical Officer Lakeba, Dr. Setaleki Sowani and Subdivisional Medical Officer Kadavu, Dr. Toyin Jenyo. Ladies and gentlemen, so Bula to everyone. On behalf of UNICEF, it is an absolute pleasure for me to be here with you. Uh, our representative, Mr. Sheldon Yet, was away, so I come on his behalf. And uh, I would like to also thank you for all of you to be here for this handover of these water tanks to the Fiji Ministry of Health and Medical Services. The COVID-19 pandemic is evolving rapidly around the world and is a risk for all countries. Fiji is no exception, and this places us in urgent need to be equipped with resources to maintain life-saving hygiene practices in order to deliver effective primary health care services to the community reserved. Why COVID-19 have struck our chores? Tropical Cyclone Harold further strained the capacity of our health facilities with the lack of resource for safe drinking water as well as water and soap to regularly wash their hands. UNICEF is working closely with the, with the Fiji Ministry of Health and Medical Services to scale up its commitment to improved water sanitation hygiene by providing water tanks. So not only these health facilities, but also school and community as well can have 
safe drinking water and can regularly wash hands with soap, which is one of the most effective way to prevent the spread of the COVID-19. More than 11,000 Fijians and 17 health facilities with more than 100 health workers in Lao, Kandavu, Serua, and Namosi will be able to benefit from 41 5,000 liters water tanks and ensure safety and well-being for all. These tanks will replace existing damaged tank from the TC Harrow and in the health facilities and will be used by staff as well as patients. I take this opportunity to thank especially the minister, yourself, and the, the staff in the Ministry of Health and Medical Services in the effort to build uh, resources and protect our hardworking frontline health workers. Because without them, we cannot be able to support the community in this COVID pandemic. We will continue to work with you to ensure our health workers have sufficient supplies and equipment they need for the safety for all, including our children, especially in the battle against this global pandemic and the aftermath of this uh, natural disaster. UNICEF and our partners are always here to support you. Vinaka Wakarevo.